What is this? Here's Bukowski's old house. Okay, so when I was up in the Dennis place up there, I saw this scary statue of an alien with a weird hand. And um, apparently on the base of this is people like looking up and taking pictures of this weird alien looking person who's looking across the street. I don't understand what the fuck this is. So I wanna go look, but the grass is all wet and now I'm walking in the grass. But what is this? Okay. I know less than I did when I was far away. I have no idea what the hell this is. He's listening up to the sky. And that I thought was him with a camera, but now I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is very bizarre. I guess I could go around and see what the fuck it looks like outside. I don't know, like why have a giant statue in a beautiful area if no one can see what the fuck it's doing? Let's see. Looks like fucking Jimmy Stewart. Oh, here's more of those plants I like. Alright, let's look. I didn't even, because the tree, you can't even see it from the street. So I had no idea that this was even here. And I have a feeling the only place you'd be able to see it from is probably that bridge that crosses the street. Where the fuck is it? I don't think you can see it. I think that's why I've never seen it before. <sighs> yeah, probably. So here we are. We are here not knowing what to do. I, I don't know what to do right now. I went to the dentist. Oh, that was the window I was sitting in. So one topic that came up recently was someone being worried about doing something that they saw another writer do because they didn't want to I don't know, feel like they were being like a copycat or copying the other writer. Every thing that you've ever seen, that you've ever read, that you've ever looked at was inspired by some other writer. And then this person wrote this thing. Every single thing that's happened. It could be the art, it could be how the art is distributed, you know? Like, I mean, I was making a lot of chapbooks because I saw a bunch of people making chapbooks. You know what I'm saying? There was one person who was the first person to publish an ebook on Kindle. And then every single person who's done it after that is just a copycat. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry about what kind of, how would you say that? Don't worry about like what people are going to think of you if you are inspired to create art, you know what I'm saying? So it just goes back to that whole steal like an artist kind of thing, which is basically take whatever you want but give credit where credit's due. And that's that's the that's the law of the land when it comes to you stealing stuff, you know. Like you never you always give credit. So if you get an idea to do something, thank that person in your book. Thank that person on your broadside. 
say like the only reason why I'm doing this is because I saw this amazing piece by so-and-so who did blah 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 and then that just builds the community even more you know? it tells people about people that they might not already know about you know what I'm saying speaking of here's Bukowski's old house that's funny So the moral of the story is do whatever you want to do and just be glad that something someone else did inspired you to create something. Okay? So type hard. You're killing it. Copy everything. Steal like an artist. And I will talk to you all later.